It's story time, sunshine. <laughs> Books read out loud. The Giant Jam Sandwich. Stories and pictures by John Vernon Lord. One hot summer in itching down, four million wasps flew into town. <coughs> they drove the picketers away. <coughs> they chased the farmers from their hay. They stung Lord Swell in his fat ball pay. They dived and hummed and buzzed and ate. And the noisy, nasty nuisance grew till the villagers cried, Walk on do!" So they called the meeting in the village hall, and Mayor Muddlenut asked them all, What can we do? And they said, Good question, good question. Yeah, good question. But nobody had a good suggestion. Ooh. Ooh. Then Bap the baker leapt to his feet and cried, What do wasps like best to eat? Strawberry jam. Now wait a minute. If we make a giant sandwich, we can trap them in it. The gentleman cheered, the lady squealed, and Farmer Seed said, Use my field. Bap gave instructions for the making of the dough. Mix flour from above and yeast from below. Salt from the seaside. Water from the spout. Now thump it, bump it, bang it about. While they were working and working hard, some more were making a tablecloth out in the yard. Oh, look at them. Look at all those people. They are making a gigantic tablecloth. When they were done, the dough was left to rise till the loaf was a mountain in shape and size. Ooh, look at them. Eh? Yeah, they were so curious. Eh? They hitched it up with a bit of a fuss to the chapter's cars and the village bus and took it to the oven they had made in the hill. Fifty cookers in an old brick mill. Wow. Yeah. Do you see the village bus? Yeah. Do you see the tractors? Eh? One, two, can you find the cars? One, two, three. For hours and hours they let it cook. It swelled inside till the window shook. It was piping hot when they took it out, and the villagers raised a mighty shout. Isn't it, Crosty? Aren't we clever? But the wasps were just as bad as ever. <laughs> The loaf was left to cool, and then the people watched while six strong men took a great big saw. Mm, 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 mm. Everyone clapped. Yay! And they cut slice too. Wow, look at all this activity. The village bus, they all agreed, would spoil the fields of farmer seed. So eight fine horses pulled the bread to where the picnic cloth was spread. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A truck drew up and dumped out butter, and they spread it out with a flap and a flutter. Spoons and spades, slap and slam, and they did the same with strawberry jam. Look at all this activity. Everybody is helping. Wow. Meanwhile, high above the field, six flying machines whirled and wheeled, ready for the wasps to take the bait, and then there was nothing to do but wait. Ooh, look at this. Here are all the wasps, and there's the bread on the picnic blanket. Right there. Do you see Bat the Baker? He's right there. Suddenly, the sky was humming. All four million wasps were coming. They smelled that jam. They dived and struck. And they ate so much, they all got stuck. The other slice came down, kerplash, on top of the wasps. And that was that. There were only three that got away. And where they are now, I cannot say. But they never came back to Itching Down, which is not a waspy sort of town, but a very nice place to dance and play. And that's what the villagers did that day. 
What became of the sandwich? Well, in itching down, they'd like to tell how the birds flew off of it in their beaks and had a feast for a hundred weeks. The end.